in this lecture we are going to study how to how to study poisson's distribution using r software so let me share my screen first hope my screen is visible so we have learned poisson's distribution in the class and here poisson's distribution is basically a discrete kind of distribution where the random variable capital x denotes the number of successes in a given time parameter or in a given region that is called as a wall interval and lambda denotes the number of successes average number of successes in a given interval that interval can be a time interval or a region specific interval so if the random variable capital x follows a poisson's distribution it is called as a poisson's random variable and its probability density function is given by probability that capital x is equal to small x or a constant say k is f of k which is e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to k divided by k factorial where the number of successes k will run from 0 1 2 3 and so on up to infinity so these things we have studied in the class also we have studied that the uh, mean value and the variance of uh, the poisson's distribution is uh, same and uh, that is uh, identical and that is, that is equal to lambda where lambda lambda denotes mean number of successes in a given time or a region so we are now going to implement uh, the uh, skills of r software to represent this poisson's distribution in r software so we are going to find out the probabilities using poisson's distribution in r software secondly the probability mass function or the probability density function uh, we can uh, view or visualize in r software using plot command and there are four basic types of commands uh, so let me just show you that r console so uh, if i go to help and if i just uh, uh, type d poise in the search bar i will get uh, the four kinds of commands namely uh, d poise so here we can see in uh, the files and plot command that particular thread of commands is uh, displaying so d poise means uh, the density function we have to find the density uh, for uh, x number of successes lambda is your average number of successes in a given time and uh, log is equal to false so this is the syntax for finding the density for a given x number of successes second is p poise so p poise stands for uh, to find out the cumulative density function where uh, q is the upper limit of the uh thread of the uh, interval say for example suppose i have to find out the probability that capital x is less equal small x that small x that upper constant is uh, playing the role of q lambda is average number of successes in a given time and lower tail is equal to true means you are finding probability that capital x is less equal that q uh, then the next command is q poise so q poise stands for uh, uh, which gives us a quantile function Uh, which is basically a smallest integer small x such that the probability that capital x is less than or equal to small x is greater than or equal to the probability uh, p so let me just open uh, the open board and uh, i have to make use of the features available in open board so let me just choose a pane and then i will just again show you the r console so here the skew poise we are uh, looking at this uh, third command the skew poise what it gives you it's the probability that capital x which is a poisson's random variable is less than or equal to small x and this probability is supposed say greater than or equal to some value p where this p is the probability constant so suppose i have to find out what is that x for which the poisson's probability is greater or equal say uh, 0.6 then it will give you that constant x okay uh, so that is the third command q poise and the last command is r poise so what r poise command is doing this r poise command will generate a random numbers uh, or you can say random number of average number of successes or in other words the random numbers of uh, the uh, variable which is a poisson's random variable 
and if you give you n is equal to 100 you will get 100 poisson uh, random variable their constant values so why this rpoise command is important because if you get a random sample of n poisson random variables you can plot it in a uh, uh, fire, uh, uh, using a plot window in files and plot window you can get the nature of a poisson's density function so to study the nature of poisson's density function we can use this rpoise command so uh, let us apply these commands uh, and uh, implement all these commands to uh, solve a numerical example. So let me just switch on to uh, one uh, example and we'll try to uh, apply the concepts of uh, uh, Poisson's distribution and the commands, few commands I have written in the console window, you can see that. Uh, and let us see how to solve the numerical examples using our software based on Poisson's distribution. So let us, let me just change the uh, screen. So here is the example. So in this example, the total number of flaws in a fiber optic cable follows a Poisson's distribution. The average number of flaws, the average number of flaws in a 50 meter cable is 1.2. We have to find out what is the probability of exactly three flaws in 150 meter of cable. Then you have to find out what is the probability of at least two flaws in 100 meter of cable. And what is the probability that exactly one flaw in one first 50 meter cable and exactly one flaw in the second 50 meter cable. So, you know, uh, your mu means average number of flaws in a 50 meter is 1.2. So, what will be the average number of flaws for 150 meter in a very first question they are asking you? So, mu you will be taking or lambda you can say lambda you will be taking as 1.2 into 1 point uh, in 1.2 into 3 for first question in the second question they're asking you uh, for 100 meters so what we'll do is 1.2 into 2 that is 2.4 will be the value of lambda uh, um, in a 100 meter uh, long cable and third example is for 50 meters so that that value of lambda will remain same namely 1.2 for the third question so we have to find out now the probability of exactly three flaws. So how many successes, exactly three successes we wanted. So small x is equal to three. In a 150 meter of cable, they are asking us. So the value of lambda, I'll be taking it as 1.2 into three, which is 3.6. Now let us employ all these things in a, our software. So I have to, uh, first of all, uh, see uh, what is uh, this, uh, deep voice command is doing so deep voice you can see the syntax deep points is deep voice is first of all the syntax is x so how many number of successes you want i want exactly the number of successes so i have written three over here and what is your lambda lambda is the average number of successes uh, you have it so you know for the first question the average number of successes is 1.2 into 3 which is 3.6 so i have written 3.6 over here and suppose you uh, compile this particular command so uh, let me just um, again uh, compile this command for you then you will get the confidence that it's working in r so uh, you can see uh, this r poise command for 3 and 3.6 i have written again over here so let me just press uh, control enter so you can see 0 0.2124 uh, 693 is the value of probability. So probability of getting three flaws in a 150 meter long cable when the average number of successes or flaws is 3.6 is 0 0.2124. Actually, we will get the same answer if you solve this example in a practical sense using Poisson's density function. So it is e raised to minus mu mu raised to x divided by x factorial. So it is e raised to minus 3.6, 3.6 raised to 3 divided by 3 factorial, which is 0 0.212 uh, by using density function also. So here also we are getting the same answer and using R, we are also getting the same answer. The next question is uh, you have to find out uh, what is the uh, mean number of flaws in 100 meter long cable will be 2.4. So what are the flaws? So what's the next question? Next second question I'm talking about. The next question is what is the probability of at least two flaws in a 100 meter long cable? So at least two flaws means probability that capital X is greater than or equal to two. At least two number of successes we want. So uh, in R, uh, you know, the second command, what the second command uh, uh, P poise is doing, P poise is a cumulative. It will give you the cumulative density function. So basically this Q poise com uh, P poise command will give you the probability that capital X is less equal Q. So right now I want pr probability that capital X is greater equal to, right? At least two flaws means. So I can write it as one minus probability that 
capital X is less than or equal to 1. So this is how it is done over here. So it will be simply 1 minus P poise of 1 comma 2.4. 2.4 is the average number of successes for 100 meter long cable. And if you compile this uh, particular command in R software, you will get uh, the probability. So let me just run this again. Uh, so I'm just uh, recalling that one minus p poise of one comma two point four. So let me press Control Enter. It will give you the answer six zero point six nine one something. And if you do it practically, here I have done it practically. Let me just rub this part. So using density function also, we must have got the same answer. So here I have done that particular example over here. So you can see here. 0.691 so it's 1 minus probability till 1 so it will be 1 minus probability at 0 plus probability at 1 so it will be 1 minus this using density functions you write down these answers and your answer will be 0.691 by your actual calculations also now the next thing uh, that we will see in our software is um, i have to apply a q poise so what q poise is doing we are already i have already explained you that q poise will give you the probability that uh, QPOIS will give you that value of X for which this probability that capital X is less equal small X will be uh, greater than or equal to some uh, probability. Say suppose I have to find out what is that X uh, after which this probability that capital X less equal 6 will be greater than or equal to 0.6. So that I have done over here using QPOIS command. So I will be giving that probability 0.6. I want that probability value greater or equal 0.6. Then uh, for say, for example, for 100 meter, I'm doing it, I will be taking lambda to be 2.4. Lower tail is true means we are finding probability for the lower tail, capital X less equal X. So that value of X that our software is displaying on the screen is equal to 3. So it can be said that after uh, for, for uh, less than or equal to 3 flaws, the probability that capital X less equal 3 is point, uh, greater than or equal to 0.6, where the average number of, number of successes is equal to 2.4 basically q poise in that q stands for the quantile it is called as a quantile function which is the smallest integer x such that probability that capital x less equal small x will be greater than or equal to some probability value p where p have taken over here as 0.6 so this is how to use that q poise command and the uh, last one is r poise so what r poise will do r poise will generate a random uh, set of your poisson random values so the value of n, value of the constant n is in your hand. So suppose I give you this command to R, say R poise is equal to 6 comma 2.4. It will generate a random set of six numbers which follows a Poisson's distribution. So these are actually a particular values of Poisson's random variable. And these you this these values you can use to um, see the pictorial representation of Poisson's distribution. Next, I will uh, explain you how this Poisson's density function nature looks like. So uh, for that, I will take a vector from 0 to 100. So this is a vector of uh, 101 uh, constants that to that I'm calling it as k. So let me just run that command. Uh, so uh, I'm just uh, coming to a console again. So if I come over here, uh, again, I have taken that command over here. So k is running from 0 to 100. If I compile it, uh, it is uh, known to a software that k is a vector from 0 to 100 then the uh, next is um, the probability so the, the probabilities of all these 100 k values i will be uh, finding it out so i will call it as the variable name probe prob probe this is name given by me and dpoise is the command which calculates the density function so I'm finding a densities of all those k's k running from 0 to 100 for an average number of successes is equal to 3.6 so let me just run this command. So again, the probabilities are also recorded in the software. Now, now I have to plot that k values from 0 to 100 versus the corresponding probabilities. So if I do that, then uh, you will get a curve. So you can now see in a files and plot command, you must have seen the change. And if I uh, click on zoom, you will get this kind of nature. So how the Poisson's distribution looks like, it will it will take some probability values. It will be your maximum, max to max probability value is 0 0.2. After that, it will go on decreasing and decreasing. And after say, for example, um, uh, X is, uh, K is equal to 10 or uh, onwards, 11, 10 or 11 onwards, it's remaining constant. Okay, so how the Poisson's distribution nature is looking like? It's highest initially. And after a certain stage, it will, the probabilities remain constant for a long 
time period or for a long region with this i will stop thank you